If you're a Jeep enthusiast and you're looking for some tips and some tricks, how to save time and save money and still get your project done the right way, you're gonna to wanna to hear what I have to say. Hey guys, Rue here from Digi. Thank you for joining me on another segment of who we are and what we do. I want to keep today short. I want to talk to you about Double H. What's Double H? Not so much a what as it is a who. The head honcho. This guy's a machine. Doesn't sleep, doesn't take vacations, works until 2 a.m. He's been taking Jeeps apart and putting them back together since 1984. He has literally, for the last 35, 36 years, taken apart and put built 35, thousand Jeeps right that's a crazy number I can't even fathom that but this is why we are who we are and what we do when we say we knew more about Jeeps than anyone within the given years that we work in 1976 to 06 it'd be hard-pressed to find somebody who could actually argue that statement when he first started taking Jeeps apart and working on Jeeps back in the 80s there was no internet there was no YouTube or at least it wasn't YouTube or Google at that point in time. The internet was probably starting out. So there's no interface to find out what worked, what didn't work. You know, how would you know that you could put a 4.0 on a CJ or in a CJ? How would you know if a Wrangler body fit on a CJ frame? You didn't. He figured it out though, trial by fire, baby. He figured it out. I've actually seen him give people information on, based on a VIN number, if the part fits the year of their Jeep. Truth. That being said, let's go take a walk in the shop and find out what's going on today. Hang tight. We had a couple of Jeeps come in last night. Let's go take a walk downstairs and find out how and what is going on. Let's sit down. Yes? This is me getting back to work now. We had this Jeep. Yeah, I know. This sheep actually came in last night about 8, 9 p.m. And this is what's left of it. The real, the reality of what we do. Now it's just in pieces. And this one, Jude, how long have you been working on this? Uh, it's been about like an hour and a half, two hours. About an hour and a half. And how long you got left on it? 30 minutes. About 30 minutes to go before this thing is completely ripped apart. Just like that, guys, sheeps come in. They go right out. It's amazing how fast these guys go through these Jeeps. That concludes the today's segment. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell so you can get all the notifications as soon as the videos go out. Stay tuned. See you next time.